First tonight, as patrons were dancing at Ultra the nightclub, police say a man was shot inside the club. Eyewitness News was there around 2 this morning. Earlier today, we spoke with members of the Board of Licenses for the city as they voted to close the club for 72 hours. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halpern is live in Providence with what we know now of the shooting and what safety measures are in place at that club. Eric. Kate, the nightclub is closed for the weekend after the Board of Licenses unanimously voted for this emergency closure. According to police, there are metal detectors and safety checkpoints at the club, but still somehow the suspect managed to get a gun inside. Crime scene tape in Providence police surrounding Ultra the nightclub around 1.30 Saturday morning. Police say a man was shot while inside near the VIP area and dance floor. Uh, the eyes have was unanimous. So just hours later Saturday morning, the Board of Licenses held an emergency meeting. The decision taken here today to close the club was really done twofold. One, because an awful incident occurred, but also what we want to do is we want to protect those individuals who may be going out tonight. Charles Newton is vice chair on the board. He listened to Providence Police Sergeant David Tejada describe what happened. Sergeant Tejada says the victim, who is in stable condition, was shot at least 50 feet past the metal detectors and point where people are patted down for weapons. He says it's too early to tell how the gun got inside. And so we will look at all of those those things and, and try to make uh, effective recommendations in, in terms of enhancing uh, the uh, things concerning the safety of, of people. This is the second time in roughly six months the board has ordered the club temporarily closed because of violence. In March, police say two men were stabbed inside. Since then, the board has required the club to use a police detail. Tata says two police were there along with nearly 800 guests when Saturday morning's shooting happened. Situations are going to occur, but I, I tend to say to everyone that the, the club scene, the night light scene in Providence is safe. And so far, police say a suspect or a suspect weapon have not been found. The Board of Licenses is scheduled to meet again on Monday. Live in Providence, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.